Welcome back to Kansas City Live. Yesterday I had the chance to catch up with George Hamilton and yes, he's just as crazy tan as you would expect. All right, we are here with George Hamilton, the star of La Cage a Faux, which is out at Starlight Theater through this weekend. And George, I have to admit, I'm feeling a little pasty white. I'm feeling a little albino right now standing next to you. I don't blame you. Yes, how do you, <laughs> how do you remain perpetually sun-kissed like you are right now? Well, truthfully, every day, every day, you can just count on it. Today, it's what, 91, something like that? I went out to a restaurant and I said, do you have a table in the sun? And they said, yes. I sat out in the sun one hour, I had my lunch, that's what I do every day. I, that's, I don't wear makeup. I can't stand makeup. And, uh, and, and the wonderful thing about touring is you go on stage and they light you and you don't need makeup. So I'm, I'm, that's, that's, it also makes me feel good. I don't care what anyone says. Sun is good for you in moderation. I mean, I may have overdone it. I looked down at my feet the other day and I thought, my God, those are good looking alligator shoes. And then I realized I wasn't wearing alligator shoes. Now, how was opening night on Tuesday? I love this place. Uh, I didn't know what I was in for. I thought there'd be tarantulas here and bugs and, you know, weevils and the dust bowl or something. I didn't know what I was coming for. Is this your first time in Kansas City? First time, but I hear everything's up to date. Everything is up to date in Kansas City. So, uh, if they... I arrived here and they told me there wasn't a wall in the theater and I thought, oh, what do you mean a wall in the theater? It's, it's a curtain, but you don't, you know. I didn't even perspire last night. I felt so good and the weather was great and people enjoyed it. Now, I'm told at the weekend it may be raining. So any of those people who would wish to come see us <laughs> in our frogman outfit, come at the weekend. Otherwise, come see the drag now. <laughs> okay, so um, first time in Kansas City, what are your thoughts about Starlight? I just think it's a wonderfully, um, it's, a, it's a, first of all, it's very comfortable venue and, and comfortable for the actors. The thing about it is it's kind of like a rock concert and, uh, and a play, you know, in a small town. And um, I just love it. I, I, I would not say that unless I meant it. I was, didn't know what I was in for. But I was so home with the people there last night and, and they're very, very grateful people. People really respect and take to their hearts people that they like and they make a point of it coming over to you and they're never overbearing always really incredibly nice i was very surprised but i like it here a lot us kansas Cityans were known for being polite well they are it's true so tell me about the costumes they're the costumes the wigs the, all of them outrageous everything's outrageous in this show yeah but i'm so used to it with all of the characters that i mean it's funny you know they are in the they do not here but they do two shows normally on saturday and sunday so they don't want to go out in their outfits. So we generally have a lunch in the building if we can do it. And they're all sitting around in their costumes. And I, I feel like I'm in a nightclub somewhere. I mean, with a lot of women. The Copacabana? I, yeah, like the Copacabana. We just talk. and But they're incredibly charming. Most important, these are some of the most dedicated professionals you'll ever see in your life. And not one of them complains. They work so hard. They're all beat up. I mean... They're 24 and 5, and they've got knots in their legs, you know, from doing double splits uh, twice a day. It's a killer. Yeah, I can do it. I can do a split, but when I do, unfortunately, it ends up two of me. <laughs> <laughs> you literally split down the middle. <laughs> yes. If you had your druthers, TV, stage, film, what? I, li I like it all. I, I, I like it all. I, I like what you do. I would really like to sit down and, and do a talk show and talk to the audiences and talk to people. and. I'm not ever afraid to do that. I don't run out of words, and I love people. And so um, I think my problem is I think a talk show means I talk and everybody else listens. <laughs> so that's what my ex-wife used to say to me. And, th and I thought what would be a really fun idea is if I did a talk show where I was the guest every night and then the host changed. That would be awesome. Wouldn't that be a great idea? That would idea? be brilliant. Huh? I would watch that. Every night you get a new host, I'll just get interviewed. I'll run out of stories somewhere after Christmas. Uh, I, I don't think that's you the know, case. Well, thank you, my friend. Thanks for coming out, and good luck with the show this Let's weekend. Let's go and see La Cajofo.